Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. I'm going to be upgrading the lighting on my 2014 Street Glide Special today. I've had this bike about seven months, and one of the first things I did was install custom dynamics lighting on it. On the rear, I installed the red amber LED uh, with a smart controller. And what that does is it gives you a strobe pattern when you hit the brakes, and then the amber LED for the turns. But one thing I noticed is if you have the turn signal on, you don't get a strobe pattern on the other light. I wanted to add more lighting to the rear and also have a strobe in that situation because a lot of times I'll be sitting at an intersection with a turn signal on and it's nice to have that strobe to kind of wake people up behind you. So I'm going to be adding the low profile LED bags, B-A-G-Z, which is a strip of lights that go on each saddlebag. And in addition to run and brake function, you have a sequential turn signal. And I went with amber to match the turn on the regular lights. And this will give you a strobe function on the opposite light that's not turning. So I'm anxious to see how this comes out. First, I'll show you what it looks like before the install, and then we'll run through the process. So let me show you what comes in the kit. It's packaged in a pretty small container. These are the low profile LED bags. I went with the dual color, so they're red and amber. And the amber turn signal has the sequential, which you'll see when we run it. So you have the actual light modules themselves. They're distinguished by uh, the left side having a purple wire and the right side having a brown wire up by the connector. Uh, this is the main harness that comes with it. It's going to go in line. There are clear directions under the seat where you want to plug this in. Since I already have the smart controller for the rear brake system with the strobe and everything, there is a sequence to how these get connected. There is also a red wire which needs to be tapped in. There are six of these connectors for routing the wire behind the saddlebags, a bunch of zip ties, and finally the instructions. Three pages of instructions, pretty standard stuff with the disclaimer, um, lots of pictures of what you're doing, a wiring diagram, um, pictures for the different bikes of where you find the con connector you need to tap into. So before I take anything apart, this is the connector we're going to be working with. This has a harness and a controller for the smart turn signal module. And you'll notice it has some posit taps here. These are to wire in some resistors to help the BCM with uh, load so that they flash correctly. I needed to do that because with all LEDs my turn signals weren't flashing correctly and this is something custom dynamics makes for that issue. So what I'm going to do is take out my zip tie and start pulling this apart and as you can see it's getting a little busy in here but I need to do a test fit and find out where I'm going to put everything. I'm going to do a test operation of the lights and once it looks like everything's working then I'm going to actually connect them and attach them to the saddlebags. So if I'm reading this right, they're calling this connector, which has the male pins inside, the main wiring harness male input connector. So we're going to go from here to the turn signal module female, which is this one. From there, we're going to take the male from that new module I just plugged in, and we're going to go to the brake controller, female. Then we're going to go from the brake controller, male, into the bike. 
the main wiring harness female. So everything's all plugged together. Now we can plug our bag lights into these connectors and see if they work. the turn signals worked, but they did not strobe when the brake was applied. To make that happen, we have to follow the instructions to cut a yellow wire and tap in using a mod tap connector. It sounds a little confusing, but what I'm seeing here is the yellow wire we need to cut, if I tug on that, it's attached inside of this black sheathing to a red wire. And so is this red wire with the Positap connector on it. All right, so this is the connector coming from the strobe module that goes into the bike harness that goes back to the lighting. So I just unplugged it for now so I can get to this red. And we're gonna throw this Positap connector in there all right, like so. Okay, that should do it. Reconnect this in. Next, all we need to do is cut the yellow wire. Now, let's see if it works. Hey, hey, it's working. So now let's focus on the installation of the light bars themselves. They're adhered with 3M tape. Um, these will fit really nicely. So I'm just gonna wipe with, uh, it says denatured alcohol, but I'm gonna use isopropyl. It'll be okay for this. the lights are on each bag and I attached the zip tie and the little pads to get those secured. So one thing I noticed is that there was a tendency for this wire to pull away from uh, this area here and the shock is really close to these bags and I just didn't want to take a chance so I ran out to the local hardware store and I was able to get a couple three-quarter inch uh, cable tie mounting pads throw those on there. The center one really wouldn't be necessary now. But uh, yeah, that's what I ended up doing and that's just gonna give me a little peace of mind. Uh, I've had issues with other installations on other bikes where wires got rubbed and damaged and I just didn't wanna have that here. So I installed the wiring. I left just this much and I might need to pull a little more. We'll see. The nice thing about zip ties is you have some ability to move the wire around. So this cover is just set in place. I'm going to pull that off. So you can see I have one zip tie here on this tube, another one here on these tubes, and then one up here on the top of the frame. And there's plenty up here, so I can bring more back. Obviously down here you don't want to get anywhere near the tire, so just be careful of that. So the LEDs are now mounted on the bags, maybe an eighth of an inch below the lids. really like how those came out. I have the wiring attached and as I showed uh, attached to the inside of the bags 
uh, the one comes up right on the inside of this tube. The frame over on this side, uh, it's coming up right here. And so I've got a little mess of wiring that I now need to organize. Because I have so many things connected together in a certain sequence, I like to color code them in case I have to take them apart. So just different color pieces of tape, uh, white on that one, red there, and uh, gray down here. And that way it's very easy to put back together without consulting a diagram. All right, so now I'm just going to take a few minutes and see if I can organize this mess. Well, this came out pretty good. Everything is laid down, used a couple of zip ties here and there, but it looks like everything will stay put and not be bothered by the seat or by vibration. Well guys, this one's done and I couldn't be happier with the result. It was easy to do and it looks stunning. And custom dynamics quality just impresses me every time. Plus it has a lifetime warranty. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Till next time.